All right, so today we're going to be working on the slider bars, which we've already been working on. But uh, in these last two videos, I've been doing the slider bars in a way that I actually now don't think is particularly efficient. And I decided to make a change to the slider bars that's much more efficient. So for instance, if we look at the, our health bars and our XP bars, they both look and work pretty much the exact same way. But if we come here and we look, it just says slider bar and it's white. And same with these ones. So essentially what I did is I created a new prefab with a script on it that controls all the slider bar variables for us. We have a way of easily setting the values that we need. Now you might be thinking for, you know, health and for magic and stuff like that or XP, you probably don't need this kind of method. But when you think about World of Warcraft and all the slider bars that are in it, like you have health, energy, magic, rage, XP, casting timers, you know, every single time you open a chest, every single time you open a locked door, whenever you check your skills, all of those are slider bars, even if they're not moving it immediately. You have all of your reputations as well as your show reputation as XP bar. So all of these different things that use slider bars and for some reason, we were going to do this all manually when we could have just created a slider bar initially and have the basically just one place where you put the slider bar in there. And then in the script, you set all the values that you need and you press play and it just works. So that's what we're going to be working on today. So let's get started. Okay, so basically to start, I just created this real quick object. It's something that you've done twice before in the two previous tutorials, so you should understand how to make them by now. But essentially, just to break it down, I've got the slider bar, which is a um, an image, basically with the color at a gray, and it's slightly transparent. Then I've got the slider, which is another image. This time it has the square source uh, image, the square sprite, and it's set to filled horizontal so that we can slide it, of course. Then I've got the container, which is just the panel alpha. And then I've got the slider text, which is, you know, all the all the same stuff. It's set to bold, set to auto size with the minimum at one, and uh, centered. Uh, all three of these objects are set to the exact same size, as well as the anchors set uh, expanded all the way. This is going to be our base slider bar. So on the slider bar object, I'm going to add a component slider bar. I've got, already got it typed out there and I'm just going to create a new script. Let's open it up. So in here, I'm going to leave the start and the update method. Just get rid of the green right here. And I'm going to start creating a couple variables. So what kind of variables are we going to run on our slider bar? What we're going to do is we're going to create a public int min value max value and current value. Next, we need a text variable so that we can have, you know, text information. And this one's going to be pretty simple. We're just going to do public string, call this one title. And by the way, I actually forgot to set these up. So let's go equals zero. Max value will equal 100 and current value will equal 50, just as a base for, for understanding everything. Anyway, so now that we have our title, let's add some booleans, right? And this is going to manage how we're actually handling our title. So public bool. So the first one's going to be show text, which is going to be set equal to true. Then we need show title, which is going to be set to true. And finally, we need to have show as fraction, which is also going to be set to true. There are going to be cases where you're going to want some of this like false. For instance, if you're doing a caster bar or something like that, like our health bars don't actually have the title showing. So that kind of thing. By the way, let's set the title to slider bar and let's actually start on uh, the methods that we need. So let's grab in player status. Let's grab the slider method and let's put it right underneath here. Let's change a couple things. So first, this is going to be gone. We don't need that because everything's going to be managed inside of this um, class. So we don't need it. All right. So in here, we're going to create a new int max and we're going to set this equal to max value minus min value. So that way, if your min value is anything above zero, you can essentially subtract it off of max value so that the slider goes between those two. And anyways, let's take max and put it here. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the current. So we'll just go current is equal to current value minus min value. And then let's create a string method. This one's gonna be called slider text. We could probably change this to slider value, but I don't think it's, it's probably not necessary. And then in here, we need to create a string slider text. We'll set that equal to quotes. And then 
return slider text. And in here, we're going to do a couple of things. So first, let's do the title. So if show title, then we want slider text to plus equal title plus, and then in quotes, colon space. So that's essentially going to show up as slider bar colon space. Then I want to do the current value. So slider text plus equals current value dot to string. So that's going to show us the current values. And then if show as fraction, then we want to do slider text plus equals slash plus max value dot to string. So this is essentially going to make sure that when, you know, based on our check marks, we have the, this all set up in different ways. Okay, so those are the two main ones that we're going to need. Now let's actually add the things that we need. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to copy these two, the Unity Engine UI and the Text Mesh Pro right at the top of the script so that we can use those. And I want to create two new variables here, public image slider and public text slider text. I guess this means that we need to change this. So let's just change it real quick. Not a problem. And now let's go back to Unity. Inside our slider bar, let's grab this slider, drop that into slider. Let's grab slider text, drop that in there, which is not because it needs to be text mesh pro you GUI. Let's do that again. And there we go. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to set up the slider. So slider dot fill amount is going to be set equal to slider. And then if show text, then we want slider text dot set text to be slider text. And then the else is going to be, you know, slider text dot set text. And then we'll just put in an empty quotes in there. So now that those two are working, uh, we can actually have a look at what that does. Um, so let's go and do that. I'm just going to come back to the scene view so that we can have a look at everything. So you can see that there's zero, so slider bar. So we can change that. Um, oh, none of these actually, let's just reset this. Oh man, okay, let's, let's reset this real quick. Drop in the slider and the slider text. Let's try this again. Okay, so you can see it says slider bar. If I change it to XP, it works. Show text hides the text. Show title, show as fraction. So all of these things work the way we need them to. And then current value, of course. So now we need a way to set the color because we don't have a way to do that. So let's go up here. We'll create a new public color. We'll call it slider color and we'll set it equal to color dot white. And for this, I'm personally not going to worry too much about, you know, changing the values over time. This is something that you can do if you want to. However, I'm instead going to do slider dot color equal to slider color. And that's just going to set it as soon as it starts and then we're not going to have to worry about it anymore. So now that we have that working, we basically have our slider bar. So we can change the color, for instance, to like a green. I'm not going to do that right now, but we can change the color. We can do pretty much anything we want to it. Um, so let's, I'm going to drop this into prefabs and that's going to be our slider bar. So I'm going to leave this one here in the center for now, but I want to replace these three here. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the slider bar we just created to do that. So let's open up player status open up status bars. Looks like their height is about 14. So I'm going to create a new slider bar right inside of canvas and change the height to about 14. Then I'm going to delete these three, drop that into status bars. I'm going to rename this one health, change the color to green. Then I'm going to scroll down here and I'm not going to show the title. Now I can change the text to health if I want to, but since we're not showing the title, it's not a huge deal. If you wanted to show the title, you could do that, but it's not really going to be a big deal. Then I'm going to duplicate this twice. Let's go magic, change the color to like a blue and let's tint to like, yeah, right around here. And then energy and we'll send this one a little bit closer to yellow, maybe a little closer to orange. Yeah, that's good. So now that we have all these, let's, um, go into our player status script and let's start getting rid of these. So I don't need, I actually don't need quite a lot of this. I'm just gonna change this so that we can just keep it a little bit cleaner and a little bit more compact. Let's change this from health to status 
bars. And then I'm gonna change the image here to a slider bar. Let's copy that around. Oops. Now we should get three errors, which is good. We want that. We need to set something up here. We don't actually have any way of setting something up. So let's go back into slider bar and let's create a new method. So this is just gonna be a public void. We're gonna call this set slider values. And inside here, this is where things are gonna get interesting. Inside here, we're gonna start adding all of the values that we have. So if we need text, if we need the title, we need string title. Uh, we'll go, call this s title. Then we need the three values. So int min, int max, int current. Then we need the various booleans. So s, I guess, uh, bool s text, bool sh title, I guess. And finally, bool s fraction. So we have all of these things. We want to set them all up inside the method. So show title is equal to s title. Uh, let's see, min value is equal to min. Max value is equal to max. Current value, oops, is equal to current. Show text is equal to s text. Show title is equal to sh title. And finally, show as fraction is equal to as fraction. Okay, now this is great. Oh, this is supposed to be title. This is great. I'm actually gonna really quickly change it, this to SL title and this one to S title because I feel like that makes the most sense. So this is slider title and this is show title. Okay, so now this is great for when we need to set all of these values for one reason or another. Like let's say we're doing something automated and we just need to access, we just need to instantiate a bunch all at once and we don't wanna have to you know, create new prefabs or create a bunch of like a, like a hundred different sliders that you would need for like reputations and, and skills and that kind of thing. But in some cases we don't need all of this. So I'm going to copy this and I'm actually going to start getting rid of a couple things. So I'm going to get rid of the S title and I'm also going to get rid of all the booleans. And so now we have the same method, but with just different overloads. And I'm actually going to do maybe like one more where we can set the title, but we don't need to set any of these. Um, and you can come up with as many variations as you'd like. I'm, I'm just gonna use these three for now because I, I can't really think of any more that I would need. If I do need more, I'll probably just create it and I'll just say something about it. But if you've watched this video, you'll understand and you can just create the types of overloads that you're gonna need for this sort of thing. So now let's set it up. Let's go here, health slider dot set slider values and I'm going to use min max and current so min is going to be zero because I don't have anything then max is going to be max secondary health current is going to be current secondary health and that's it so let's just duplicate this a couple times we'll change this to magic slider and of course set these values to magic change the energy slider set these values to energy and just delete all of this and now we have a much cleaner way of showing the exact same thing that we had. All right, and then now that we're done that, we really, really need to remember to set all these sliders up. So let's set them up so that they can actually work. Let's press play. And there we have it. We have the three sliders. We have them showing our full health and we have them working the exact same way that we had them working previously. So now let's do the same thing with this slider bar and we'll swap it out for the XP bar. So I'm just gonna come up here, we'll do 400 by 20, bring this way down to the bottom. Um, I'm gonna drop it into the action bar and then I'm going to unpack this prefab completely. Then I'm gonna take the XP, uh, the tanks inside the XP slider, drop it in there. I'm gonna move it below container and I'm just gonna delete the XP bar. Now this slider bar will set the color to purple. Um, and we need the title to be XP, but we're not gonna set it up here. Oh, actually, let's set it up here because we can. This isn't one that we need to automate necessarily, so we can do that. But let's go back to our script. And uh, now that we have all this set up, I'm actually gonna remove this. Let's go back to our script. Let's delete this. So the XP text, we don't need that. And let's uh, just delete XP text. And let's change image XP slider to slider bar. Then we'll come down here. We'll get rid of this, of course. And instead we're gonna go 
xp slider dot set slider values minimum value is going to be zero max value is going to be max xp and of course current is going to be experience by the way while we're here uh, i need to change something here so experience needs to be equal to or greater than max xp because if it's equal to max xp then you're going to have 500 out of 500 xp and you're not going to level up but you want to level up there so that's that needs to be set there just a bit of an aside anyway so now that we have this set up let's actually go um, let's take this update XP here. Let's drop it below level text and uh, let's go drop the slider bar into the XP. So let's go player slider bar XP slider. Let's rename this one real quick XP bar and let's save. And there we have it. We have our XP bar. So if we come down here, we'll go like 45 or something like that. And it just, it works. It works exactly like we did it before, except now we have a better method for unifying all of these. We can generate as many as we need. We can basically automate the process, and that's great. All right, so uh, that's going to be it for today. This was kind of just a sort of off-the-cuff tutorial. I know I said that I was going to do ma um, maps next, or mini-map next, but this one kind of just hit me after I finished. Uh, after I uploaded the last one and I was like, damn it, I need to do that right. So I decided to do it this way. And I think this is going to benefit benefit us in the long run, honestly. So yeah, um, anyways, if you like this video, uh, please leave a like. If you have any questions or want to say something, please leave a comment. And uh, yeah, if you if you want to see more of these, please subscribe. It's, it's very cool to see all the subscriptions, you know, it, it makes me want to keep going. And yeah, so anyways, uh, I'll see you next time. Super Chupa, Super Chupa, Super Chupa, and he sells soup.